So now on the show, I want to take a look at a brand new movie that is out called The Parapod, a very British ghost hunt. It's also called The Parapod, the movie. Um, this is a very, very British film, and I don't mean that in a negative way. I love British comedy, but I've realized recently just how you really have to be a lover of British comedy to love British comedy. I recently showed a good friend of mine one of my favorite shows, which is 8 out of 10 Cats Does Countdown. And her response was, this show is so random. Um, she did not like the show anywhere near as much as what I did. And that's when I realized that to love British comedy you really have to love British comedy. I should say to enjoy British comedy, you really have to love British comedy. Now, I say that to preface the fact that I think the Parapod, the movie, is the kind of film that only those that love um, British comedy is going to enjoy. Now, this is the movie that's come out of a, a podcast that was put together by comedian Ian Boltsworth. Um who's been in Doctor Who, Red Dwarf, he's won countless uh, UK stand-up comedy um, awards, and Barry Dodds, who is a paranormal kind of investigator, he's done a, a few podcasts about that. Now, Ian and Barry started to do a podcast where they started to talk about Barry convincing Ian that the paranormal exists. Now, the Parapod, the movie, is kind of like Top Gear. I guess that's the best way you could describe it. It's about the two of them going on a journey where Barry is trying to convince Ian that the paranormal exists. Now, Ian's doing all of the things that a comedian who doesn't believe in the paranormal um, would do. Um, jumping out and, and scaring Barry at any opportunity that he can get. Um, playing tricks on Barry, trying to get Barry to think that the paranormal are doing it. Um, and it works, but I have to admit, not being someone who listens to the podcast, I don't think I got as many of the in-jokes and what was going on as much as someone who has been a fan of the podcast. Like I said, there's a very kind of uh, Top Gear um, kind of feeling to, to this uh, doco comedy. Um, where it, it, it does feel like Ian is trying to set up Barry. It's kind of got that James May, Jeremy Clarkson thing, how Clarkson's always trying to set up May. Um, but having said that, I, I did kind of enjoy it. Now, one of the things that I found a little bit weird about this uh, film, and I think it kind of holds it back a little bit, is the fact that you're not sure what is real and what is scripted here. Um there are times when things happen on screen and you're kind of like, did they force that to happen? Uh, did Ian cause it to happen? Um, so you're almost watching parts of this documentary from Barry's point of view um, because you're not sure what is real and what is not. Um, I guess that could be something that is part of the, the podcast as well. Like I said, I've never listened to the podcast. So... Um, I don't know if that's the, the kind of style that they were going for, but I didn't sit there and hate this. You know how sometimes if you watch a movie that's based on a television show or based on something that, you, that you've that you never watched or, or listened to or read before, you kind of feel lost. I didn't feel lost with this. I just felt at times that I wasn't getting the full picture because I, um, I, I wasn't uh, privy to this world that these two had... Um, put together. Um, having said that though, like I said, it's an enjoyable kind of uh, documentary. It, it kind of looks at that ske skeptic versus believer um, kind of philosophies. Um, yeah, the, the more I think about it, the more I, th I, I think, yeah, it, it's kind of top gear for paranormal things really, like right down to even the, the practical joke when it comes to the car that they drive. Um, and things like that. And of course, the name has completely skipped my mind at the moment. But you've got the other documentary series as well, where the uh, the two comedians travel around different countries trying food. Um, again, this kind of falls into that um, journey style documentary as well. 
Um, if this is the kind of documentary where I'd love to talk to the two guys because I'd love to find out a little bit more about um, how this all came together. But like I said, it's kind of enjoyable, but I do feel that you will get a lot more out of this film if you're a fan of the podcast. But having said that, I'm still going to give this a 3 out of 5. <laughs>